Good morning. Welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. Yesterday I shared with you two uh, uh, inspirational resources for me uh, uh, that I've consulted in this last week. One was am I having watched a, uh, a, a video documentary of the founder of Alcoholics Anonymous, Bill W. And the other was that I referred back to some of the writings of uh, who's been considered by many to be the most influential uh, philosopher in, in, in uh, contemporary America, that's Ken Wilber. I wanna say more about Ken Wilber's idea of waking up. I just mentioned it yesterday, but I wanna say more about that today, and especially as it applies to recovery. By waking up, uh, 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 Ken, as he's known by his friends, I have had a chance to meet Ken a few times, uh, uh, and we're used to calling him Ken. <laughs> by waking up Ken, or Mr. Wilbur, uh, what he means by that is that we can build skills for learning how to step outside of ourselves. This is literally the root word uh, in Greek, ekstasis. Ekstasis means to stand outside of yourself. It's the root, uh, I'm sure you've guessed, of our English word ecstasy. And it's right at the core of Bill W.'s idea of spiritual experience. Here's how it goes. Most of us go through our lives, uh, you know, day to day, operating as if we're the center of our known universe. This would be normal. And there's nothing necessarily bad about that, at least as far as it goes. But if you consult any religious or spiritual tradition, every one of them provides guidance to our also building a capacity to move beyond just that personal sense of identity into something greater than ourselves, to quote the big book of AA. Uh, many people, especially here in the West, would call this experience of God. However, in the East especially, uh, this experience of waking up to a perspective that uh, actually allows us to observe ourselves is typically, typically given a different title. Since we're, when, since we're speaking from the West, I'm speaking to you from Southern California, we might say it's learning how to observe ourselves almost as if from God's perspective. In fact, there's an interesting, one of my favorite uh, theologians uh, 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 hailed from the Middle Ages in Germany. His name was Meister Eckhart. He was a priest and a theologian, had a tremendous impact on uh, Catholic, hence Christian thought. He referred to the experience we're talking about as knowledge in divinus. In divinus literally means uh, divine. So it would be divine knowledge, knowledge in divinus. And what Meister Eckhart wrote about, as long as, uh, uh, along with many of the other monks and nuns from the Middle Ages in the Catholic tradition, is that we can learn how to objectively witness, step back and witness our thoughts, our feelings, our impulses, even our dreams, as if from a third person perspective. I wonder if you've instinctively begin to get the connection, even as I talk about this, between on the one hand, Wilbur's waking up or uh, Meister Eckhart's idea of divine knowledge on the one hand, and the current cultural rage uh, for the last many years of mindfulness. Uh, it's gotten very hard to open any kind of popular magazine or newspaper, including online, without finding uh, within its pages multiple references to mindfulness. What I'd like to do starting tomorrow is to begin to weave in mindfulness as we continue to explore Bill W's spiritual experience and see how that they both may be seen as bedrocks uh, to successful recovery from addiction. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate you being with me here at this, the Vitality Project as we weave in spirituality. From Our goal here is from as broad a perspective as possible to be inclusive and as from deep a perspective as possible to be truly transformative. So the, continue, the, the conversation will con continue these next days and appreciate you being with me. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day.